my mission is to feed people, hungry people around the world, and study how we can make a difference everywhere. So I'll be very interested to find out what you guys think and what you guys have to say about it. I'll be very interested because I think that the mind of a child is the perfect place to explore solutions to things that have never been fixed before. So I specifically work with small groups like you guys uh, trying to solve the issues of hunger globally. So everywhere, Haiti, Nicaragua, Central America, here in India as well, uh, Europe, France, and areas affected by wars and areas affected by climate change or drought or basically anything you can think of that would cause you to not have enough food. So that's what I do. What, what are the countries that you target for your goal? I think targeting anywhere with hunger is the same. So it is equally relevant for me to work in Alabama and the United States as it is to work in Afghanistan. Anywhere there's a hungry person, we have a responsibility as citizens. So all over the world. From how actually did you get uh, uh, the idea about starting this project? From where and how? I was watching the movie Beyond Borders and I was sitting at my house and I used to be the CEO of an oil company. Uh, I started an oil company when I was in college and I said, oh, this is what I want to do. I'm going to go chase the money. I'm going to be this. And I was watching a movie and I couldn't get it out of my head. I went to sleep that night. I couldn't get it out of my head. They were spending $3.5 million from big parties raised, at, you know, the big the wealthy people. They throw a party and they say, oh, help our cause and contribute to our needs. And it was Angelina Jolie, so it was a good movie. It was, she's kind of pretty, well, I'm just saying. So I was sitting there, I was watching it, and I was, I was stuck. Three days later, I was selling my oil company. For uh, three months later, I had permanently relocated to my research facility. You have to be open to the opportunity that God will push you in a direction. And just do it. Go. That's how businesses are built. That's how innovation happens, and that's how change can be affected. How is this advantageous over traditional farming? Aquaponics uses 10% of the water as traditional agriculture. So we have problems with evaporation, but not oversaturation. Meaning that the 3,000 gallons I use every year in one of the small farms uh, produces 90% more food on the same amount of water. Which is, that's one, one thing I have to work with. By the youth!